Bulbars can do whatever the fuck he wants. If he's getting criticals, I'm not gonna complain. If he's getting shitty level ups, I'm going to complain. So what is that now? Is that a B in Lances? That is, in fact, a B in Lances. That's something else I'm noticing about Fire Emblem Awakening. It turns out, like, the weapon conditioning for the first level goes up incredibly fast, but then after that, it slows down to piss-poor speed. Well, kind of. At least that's what I'm noticing. Excuse me, you're from the... Or, right, I'm doing loose voice. Excuse me, you're from the Lycia Army, right? Please let me fight for you. I don't have any useful information, but I can use a bit of magic. Please let me help you. And say hello to Lou. You would have gotten an important conversation Hey, had Lou talk to Chad, but I didn't care enough to do it. So this is Lou. Oh, right, fuck. I forgot to rate Chad again. Okay. Uh, Alright. Rate Chad time. Okay, there's going to be three ratings for Chad. I'm not going to include the, the first one, but basically, out of all thieves, I give Chad a... T oh, God, this is kind of a javelin. Okay, good. Do you have a javelin? Okay. Chad is without a doubt the best thief, so I'm going to give him a 10 in terms of thieves. Character-wise, would I give him personal recommendation? I'd say I'd give Chad a 6. He's good. He'd be amazing if he evolved. But unfortunately, the fact that he can't pretty much limits him to very little use. So, sorry about that, Chad. But there's your rating. I gotta stop forgetting the ratings. You're the remnants of the Lycia Army, right? Here, take this and go quickly. There are a bunch of burned soldiers here. Burn may govern this whole area, but we're friends of Lycia. And we get a mend. That would have been nice for what's-her-face, Helen. But I do not know. Do any of you guys have a javelin? Yes, you do. Okay, well, I believe I'm going to actually walk over here and get in your range. I can actually have Lou go this entire way around. And pretty much just take care of these guys. Oh, he might even... Oh, man, he'll definitely be able to take care of Slater. Except the throne gives you, like, five resistance, so... Maybe not. Uh, you have nine. All right. So, anywho, this is Lou. Right, gotta explain him. Lou is one of three mages in the game. And out of all of them, he is the first one you get, not only, but also probably the fastest. His speed and skill will go up quite a lot, which is very, very good in comparison to the second mage we'll be getting, who I'm actually also going to be using, believe it or not. Lou comes set with kind of weakish magic, but he really starts to grow out of it. He's, he's not bad in terms of magic. He'll definitely pick up a lot of it, so... There is a lot of controversy, however, over which is the best mage. The third one, no one really seems to argue for. Generally, it's between Lou and the second mage you're getting, which will come in a couple chapters. Personally, I find the second mage to be a bit better simply for its amazing strength. But I will say that anyone who believes that speed is better than strength, which I usually do, but in that case, I just like the character better, and I say she is the better character. Or, well, now I gave it away, that's she, so there you go. But Lou, Lou is definitely not a pushover himself. He's got plenty of good stats. And three defense, that is pretty damn good for a, uh, for a mage. So, yeah, that is Lou. Starting out at level one, too, so not bad stats either. And more knights, great. Ow. Alright, take care of it, Chad. Wham! Good job, boy. Yeah. So yeah, Awakening is fucking awesome. I'm just going to say that right now. I'm having a lot of fun times with it. Huh, that's pretty surprising. at yeah, defense. That's weird. Is defense growth really that good? Eh, whatever, I don't care. I'm not yeah, Fire Emblem Awakening, I've already gotten a couple characters in that, and I just love almost every single character in that game. Because... Out of every Fire Emblem I've ever played, I have never experienced this level of detail to making them sound like real living human beings. This is amazing, simply for that. They are perfect. Every single one of them is different from the last. They all have interesting traits and, uh, and personalities. It's, it's amazing. I used to always, like, think when I was listening to Marky Joe, uh, 1990. He kept talking about, like, characters need to have more burnouty. I'm like, well, I kind of agree with you, but I kind of don't, because I have some personality when you get to sports are good. But now that I'm seeing this game, I'm like, 
Okay, now I completely understand what you're talking about. I'm not sure if he played Awakening yet. I'm pretty sure he has. But the thing is, like, holy shit. I totally get what he's saying. Their personalities are perfect. Like, there's this girl called Sully. She's a fucking badass of a girl with a, like, a, on a cavalier. She's, like, insane. She, she's hilarious. Probably one of my favorite characters so far. You get your own, like, tactician who actually gets a name. Like, you get to name him and he becomes a character. That's also really damn cool. Like, there's so many great things about that game. And I seriously want to get back to playing that. But uh, I was in a recording mood. And I really need to be recording. I should probably be recording Stupid Games Saturday right now that I think about it. But... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that for some reason. I'm gonna keep Marcus over here with Lou, just in case something stupid happens. But, yeah. Get to it, Cavaliers. This is going to hurt, Al. God damn it, Alan. Thank you. How come my guys keep missing? They don't have terrible luck. Anywho, who else is really funny? Like, I just got a thief in the game. Like, I was playing a chapter and I got a thief. I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that, just got interrupted for a quick second. Also, pause on this. Yeah, pretty funny. Nice job on you. You punctured him right through the crotch. Yeah, I never noticed that until I just freeze-framed it right there. I mean, look, it, it's a perfect crotch shot. Look at that. Straight back through the horse's butthole and everything. Just wham, right in the crotch. Good shot. Anywho, let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, crotch shots. Yeah, Final Awakening. Really damn good. Like, there's a thief I got. And he's like, yo, give me the goods. And, like, the sweets. I'm like, oh, man, I'll have to pay you money. Then the Lord, like, drops, like, a candy bag. And is like, oh, yeah, there's the sweets. It's just funny because he's addicted to sweets. Like, just great personalities like that. And it just makes a really funny game and for a really funny character. It's just really, really, really good. I am ultimately surprised with how excellent the game is turning out to be. I am very, 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 very impressed with how the game is playing. So yeah, if there wasn't enough berries in that, well, I just gotta say it varies from time to time. Oh, that was, that was not a funny joke. Anyway, can someone take care of this knight over here? You have a rapier, I would. Er, boy. God damn it. Oh, I'm never gonna get that down, am I? Unfortunately, I don't think Chad is able to really hurt the knight. 100% says no. 100% uh, correct. Yeah. Well, Boris can almost finish him off. Let's do that, I suppose. Yeah, the personalities in that game are just great. That's probably my favorite part already. Just the personalities, the idea of, like, support conversations, like, the funny stuff that the game introduces. It's just amazing. And it really makes me want to play more of the game. So I'm very impressed with how they how they handled that. But yeah. And I hopefully Roy will not die here, because he's in the range of like three people. Okay, he's not dying. He's too good with the dodging and the flippity flip. Yeah! Good job, Roy. What level are you? You're like six, right? Yeah. And also, another cool thing, the game's not very like uh not very not challenging, if that makes any sense. Like, it actually does have some challenge. I had to reset a couple times. Mostly because I used this stupid bag to summon a bunch of, like, zombie things. And then they were, like, really over-leveled, and every single one of them was, like, a mage. And I don't really have that many units who are excellent in their resistance stat. Yeah, so that was pretty silly, but I managed to get through it anywho. One damage. What the fuck? Oh, God. Well, does anyone have the ability to set him down to 2 or 1 HP? Oh, damn. This guy has a lot of defense for some unknown reason. Uh, okay, 8. You can do 8, and I can do 5. Oh, perfect. All right, here we go. So, Alan's going to attack twice with his sword. Boris is going to attack once with his lance. <clears throat> and then Shadow's going to finish him off. Yeah, sounds like a plan to me. Uh, can you re- yeah, you can. Good jeal. Good jeal? What the hell's a jeal? Eh, whatever. Thank you guys for not criticaling. That would have pissed me off royally. 
Here you go, Chad. Take your free kill on this 1 HP night. Whatcha? Or social night, as they're called. Yeah, they aren't called Cavaliers, unless it's the English version. In this game, they're called Social Knights. Or they're called Cavaliers. I guess whoever did the translation of this changed it. But yeah, generally they're called, uh... They're called Social Knights, so that's that. And that guy's Javelin too. I believe I'm gonna put myself in range of this guy. Can you reach me from there? Yes, you can. You can also reach Roy, which means you're probably gonna go after Roy. God damn it. Whatever. Close enough. Marcus, get up there so you can protect this kid. And everyone else, continue forming your box. Box formation. A go-go. Hmm, kind of wonder if I'm going to use any archers. I'm kind of thinking and thinking, and um, probably not. Like, I don't know. I don't really want to. I already used Naimi for six. Or Naimi for eight. And I already used uh, Will for, for seven. I mean, there's another archer that's going to be coming up in a bit. Another couple, in fact. Well, actually, just two. One's a sniper. But, I don't know. I just don't really want to use one. I don't really have any plans to use one. I don't know, just me. Nice job, Chad. Well over you now. Three? Alright. More speed and more luck. Alright. Well, I don't think he was a very lucky guy to begin with, but hey, I'll take any luck you can get. Six, level six, level six. Oh god. Mark of the Devil. Alright then. I can double you. Can you double in fours? No, I don't believe you can. <clears throat> but you can do some damage to him, so I believe I will have you come to that. Man, I can't believe I'm already out of stuff to talk about. I said I had like a million things to talk about, and it really didn't happen to turn to a million things. But, hey, I talked about some interesting things, such as what I'm doing as of late. And did your iron sword already break? I haven't even noticed. I'm like, Jesus. Alright, whatever. Continue wasting the rapier then. Juke? Good job, Roy. I'll definitely have to make sure I give you another sword, because I want you racing that rapier. Or, 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 rapier. Rapier ear. I believe I already made that joke. Um. God damn it, that guy's in the perfect position to not get hit by anything I have. Yo, Marcus, I kind of need some transport here. Take me to the compound! Uh, regular show. Hmm, what other funny quotes can I come up with? I don't know. I don't have any other funny quotes. Alright, I guess... Bleh, what's his face? will take care of everything over there. Boo. And someone has to go down here so they can get the chest. I believe I'll have... Uh, Oars and Alan do it. Roy can help with the boss, I suppose. There you go. Another thing I really like about the game, Awakening, is a lot of it is very similar to the Game Boy Fire Emblems. Like, I, they took definitely a lot from Path of Radiance and uh, Radiant Dawn. Right? Isn't that the... Yeah, Radiant Dawn. Or is that Path of Radiance and... Well, I always get confused between the Tales, like, sequel and, like, the Path of Radiance sequel. This is Path of Radiance, then it goes, like, Radiant Dawn, but then... Then, like, the... Tales of Symphonia sequels called Dawn of the New World. Like, how many Dawns do you need? There can't be that many Dawns. Uh, I don't know. Just, uh, just some silliness. Anywho, there you go. And you'll probably go immediately after that kid, so I'll leave you to that. Chad, you cannot hurt this guy at all, can you? Not even close. Alright. Get in there, boars, and finish this guy off. Apparently you cannot finish this guy off. But you can do some sick damage. So, I'll take that. Man, this game travels so slow sometimes. Awakening, you can actually have a speed up button, which I have been using a little bit. I'm not going to risk anything because I never risk anything anymore. That is, as what Fire Emblem has taught me, do not risk, risk shit. Oh shit, I might have to risk shit. Shit, I really do have to risk shit. Oh wait, no I don't have to risk shit. I have a honorary right here. Gracias. Speaking of Grazias, uh, I actually do have a couple interesting, like, ethnicities of people working with me. Uh, there is a Mario who works, uh, with me, who happens to be, like, a main cook and does quite a bit around. 
So he's pretty cool. Uh, there's another guy called Dan, who reminds me a lot of Immortal, which is hilarious, but he doesn't talk nearly as much as... Well, Immortal doesn't even talk that much. It's more like just in looks alone and like how he acts a little bit. It's very funny when you see him. God damn it, Lou. How can you not double this guy? I suppose I would be asking a little bit too much, but whatever. All right. Um... Yeah, I think I will take a Vulnerary and have Marcus get his ass out of here. Actually, no, I'm gonna have Marcus sit right there so he can't stay on the bush. Nah, douche. All right, Chad, get your ass down there and Forge, you're going to take care of this guy. He has a Javelin also, but if I just Javelin him twice and then two more times on the enemy phase and then stab him one last time with the Iron Lance, that should be the end of the night. And... Hmm, I'll be right here. And a mere... How many days later is this? Today's January 7th at 10.46 at night. So obviously it's pretty late. Yeah, I kind of cut and I never came back. So, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Anywho, we're back. Um, hmm. What the hell was I doing last time? Alright, I was trying to get through these chests. And uh, I was also going to have Lou get some experience off the boss and that, uh, that guy over there. So let's just send it off turns and see what happens. Lee, not... Ooh, actually, you did juke it. Good job, Lou. Damn, Lou has some actually really good skill. I suppose that does make sense. Like I said, comparatively to the other mage you're going to get later on in the game, the girl who I spoiled, uh, she, she does have a noticeably less speed. So... Whatever. Anywho, Boars, what's your level right now? You are six, and Alan, you are also six. Alright. Yeah, why don't you finish this off then, Boar? Oh, wait, I could have Chad finish it off. Maybe. No, I can't. <laughs> Keep forgetting his attack is so shitty. I'm coming off Awakening, where everyone has fucking awesome stats. Well, except for a couple people. I tried training up this girl called, uh... What was her name? Like, Leon or something like that? She's basically a war cleric, and she looked awesome, but then I realized her stats kind of blow. Then I got Morgan, and she became a war cleric, and then everything was better. Yeah, Fire Emblem Awakening has pretty much taken a lot of my time. It's been a little while since I started recording, mostly because of A, Popeyes, and B, Fire Emblem Awakening. Yeah, that's, that's how it's been happening. Alright, you have a speed of... Three. I have a speed of six. Damn it! I'm one away from doubling this douchebag. Well, Lou's pretty much the only one who's going to be able to do much other than, like, Roy. Anywho, let's see. We got four. And how much damage are you going to do to us? Sixteen minus my three defense. That's thirteen. That's almost all my HP. God damn. Oh well, close enough. Uh, 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 oh shit, what was his voice again? I don't even remember. Hmm. What was his voice? I won't lose. I, I won't lose. Something like that. I don't know. Whatever. Close enough. Bam. Yeah, he can't attack back. I guess I'll just keep, uh, like, attacking back until eventually I get, uh, speed gain. That'll probably happen. Lose pretty fast. Anyway, what do we got here? We got the Hullbird. Of course, this is Fire Emblem 7 and 6 level, so basically these weapons are going to weigh a shitload, have really shitty hit, and basically you aren't going to be able to do jack all of them. Also, I've already started editing on the first episode of Sacred... Uh, or not Sacred Stone. Th this game. And I've already pretty much got an idea of what everyone's stats are going to be like. So I was a bit wrong about what certain people had. Like, I did not know Alan actually had the same speed growth, pretty much, as Lance. Apparently the only difference between the two is Alan gets more strength and luck for some unknown reason, while Lance gets more just skill. I don't know, maybe his speed's better as well, it's just, like, they both have B ranks in increasing, I don't know. Alright, Lou, I'm gonna have you attack again, because I'm assuming this guy will miss, and if you don't, then I can just have you get rescued with Marcus. Good job, Lou. We had to contradict everything I was about to say. Alright, Lou, what is your first level up looking like? Oh, uh, we are not gonna have a great relationship, Lou, if that's what you're getting. However, you did get defense. 
which is rather odd. I'm kind of looking forward to editing this episode so I can see what Lou's stats are like. I'm assuming he has uh, decent magic growth, plenty of speed and skill. I don't know. Stuff like that. He did get defense, like I said, so that is definitely a bonus. I really wish uh, Chad could have had a chance to uh, at least deal some damage. But no, he's, he's not going to be dealing anything. And do you guys have... Oh, no, you're really close, though. I like how all three of these guys are just level 6. That's perfect. I just need to get Chad up. Lou should be at least level 3 by the end of this fight. And he seems to be doing perfectly well against Slater. And opening my big mouth did not do anything. So, whatever. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Man, this guy has terrible accuracy. <laughs> Bam! And Lou just keeps getting hits. Like, I imagine he would have missed by now with the 70% chance. But hey, we can't all be beggars and choosers. Keep going, Lou, in your green hair and yellow hood. That's a very odd palette, I will say. Like, a blue shirt underneath. Who the hell, like, picked out his clothing style? Well, then again, he did live in an orphanage, and you kind of got to take what you can get sometimes in those locations. But... I don't know. Man, Lou is a tank right now. He's just, like, dodging every single one of these javelins. I gotta admit, though, those javelins would hurt like a bitch, so I'd probably be trying my damnedest to dodge them as well. And you've been soloed by Lou. Sir Narshan, please have mercy. Man, his balls must just be completely on fire at this point in time, so he shouldn't even worry about Narshan. He's, he's pretty much dead. Not Narshan, you are. There we go, that's a great level up. That's what I like to see. When it comes to mages, I like to see him get resistance up because they're going to be my resistant walls. Man, he has a very even stat spread. Kind of wish he had more aid or con whatever, but look at that. Look how much the spells weigh. That's something else I forgot to mention. Magic in this game is broken. The look, look at the look at the difference. Oh, no, you broke yours. Look, look, look here. Weighs 5, he is 85, 5 power, and a range of 1 to 1. Weight of 1, hit of 95, range of 1 to 2, and the same power. Magic is really unfair in this game. So that's why I definitely want to use two mages. I'd like to use more, but I'm probably not going to use the third one, because he comes way too late for me to really bother with him. Anywho, that is the end of this chapter. No, Anna, I do not want to quit. By the way, you are a hilarious character in uh, Awakening. Let's just conquer. Mr. Roy, we have found Lord Hector in the dungeon level. Really? Is he alright? He's severely wounded. Lord Hector, what an awful wound. You're bleeding from like eight places. You must treat it. Here, lean on my shoulder. Resurrected the dragons. Dragons? Yes. Dragons that we humans fought in the past. Well, we fought one of them, but, well, technically three. Then yeah, and killed kind of like two of them, and really wounded the third one. Not sure why she couldn't finish the job. The scouring? I've heard of it. Wait, you didn't even take part in the scouring, Hector. Or maybe you did. He's probably that badass to have done so. Long time ago, two races that each had half of the life, the humans and the dragons, fought over total control of the continent. Alright. The eight heroes defeated the dragons. They led us humans to victory. How did Burn use the dragons? I have no idea, but the dragons had control of what is now Burn in the past. And Hartmut, one of the eight heroes, the founder of Burn. Perhaps the reason lies there. Lord Hector! Roy! Go to Ostia. You must lead what is left of the Lycia Lanza. Instead of me. Me? But. Don't worry. In Ostia are weapons that are effective against dragons. Weapons? I've already told this to Lilina. Please, take care of her, too. She 
may seem strong, but she is still a child. Please, give her support. Yes, I will. Lee, she's one. <laughs> Lord Hector! And just like that, Hector is dead. Which kind of depresses me. I mean, he was the best fucking character in the last game, and now he's he's pretty much just gotten his shit kicked in. Yeah. Impressive. But hey, I suppose it was pretty unfair. He did call dragons, which we'll easily be able to decimate later. We, you know, I don't even know. Anywho, that was Chapter 3, Late Arrival. So when we come back next time, we'll be handling Chapter 4, which is called... Collapse of the Alliance. I forgot to click off the screen. Whatever, I'll do it next time. See you guys for that later. Goodbye.